Another green month in the books as Bitcoin continued to push up throughout March. Bitcoin hit a high of $48,207 and a low of $37,151 in March, an $11,000 difference. Now we go into April, which by the way, it is historically one of the most bullish months for Bitcoin, as you guys can see here on this chart. Since 2013, Bitcoin has only been red during April twice making it the most bullish month for Bitcoin other than February and October. The average return during this period in April is 20% for Bitcoin. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how Bitcoin can potentially break 50K this month and possibly go as high as $54,000. Notice that's about a 20% move from current prices. We will also be taking a look at the trades that we will be looking to set up as Bitcoin's price moves higher so that we can maximize those returns. And finally, we will show you guys how you too can know exactly when to buy and sell Bitcoin using our 24-7 live buy and sell signals chart. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Hey, Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community, with the knowledge and resources to help you take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys have any questions about anything at all that we cover in this video, drop it in the comments. Let's jump into today's video. So last week we didn't do any analysis videos, so we didn't give you guys any trades, but we did really well in the trade group. As you guys can see, last week we took 32 trades and out of the 32, we hit and made profit on 24 of them. What's more interesting is that our live buy sell signals actually outperformed us last week hitting 76% accuracy, but we'll come back to this in a minute. So as you guys can see, Bitcoin is currently sitting around $45,355 at the moment. It has been pushing lower and lower today, but we've had two pretty good months, up 12% in February and up 5.4% in March. So like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, April is actually one of the most bullish months for Bitcoin. And on average, it has returned over 20%. So if we add that same 20% into the movement here for April, that would put us at about $54,000. Now, what's even more interesting is that $54,000 level is exactly where our Fibonacci level is. So you guys know that we finally broke above this Fibonacci level. So that very next one that we have now sits at at $54,000, which is exactly 20% from where we currently are right now. And if we look at the volume profile as well, you can see that if we can get above this $48,000 area, there's basically a big drop off in volume, in open interest all the way until, you guessed it, $54,000. So there's definitely a lot of pieces here that are pointing to the possibility that we run up to $54,000 this month in April. Now, if we zoom into the weekly chart, you can see here where we had that basically resistance channel that kept and continued to push us down. And then of course, we had the breakout here back at the end of January, beginning of February. And now we've been setting up this ascending support channel here. This week, that support channel is currently sitting around $40,000. If you look a little bit closer, you can see that on this Fibonacci level right here, the 382 level, which has played a support many times before, is now playing as a resistance here as we try to break back above it. So we had the one push to the upside and we got rejected, which is currently where we're sitting right now. So currently we have a support here right around that 45 to 44.5 range 
you can see that we bounced on the on this one right here last week right around that forty four thousand dollar area 45 is of course also going to be playing a strong role as support as before it has been a very strong resistance and then beyond that we would have to look back at 42 to forty thousand dollars that will be the next support levels there if prices were to push down lower now looking to the upside when we do finally get above this range and basically we have to break above forty eight thousand dollars that next resistance area is going to be right around here. That's around that fifty to fifty-two thousand dollar area. That's really the only other resistance that we have before getting to what we spoke about before that fifty four thousand dollar range so there's really not that much resistance if we can just get over this current level that we have currently right here if we could just break through 48k i can definitely see us going to 50 to 52k next and then after that we just basically free to fifty four thousand dollars and you better believe that if we get back above fifty thousand dollars it's going to bring back a lot of retail investors again and that should help push prices is even further up and we could be in a situation where we see a new all-time high at that point now i'm not saying that if we break 50k or 48k we're going straight to an all-time high but we will be on our way setting up higher highs and higher lows on the way of course Zooming into the daily here, you can see that ever since we set this bottom right here at $32,000, $33,000, we've reversed the trend here, setting higher lows on the way up. We've also set now a new higher high, and I would definitely be expecting a new higher low somewhere here if we do have any type of retracement. So a pullback to 44, you know, 42 or even $40,000 would not be a bad thing because we're still in this higher lows situation, which is bullish overall. And as long as we stay above this ascending support here, I believe we continue setting up some higher highs. Now I'm sure you guys are saying, but Jay, like you're telling us that it could go up to $54,000, but you're also saying that it could drop down to $42,000, $40,000. And yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Remember back in March, we had a low of 37,000 and a high of 48,000. That's an $11,000 difference, low to high. And even back in February that we had a 12, percent month we still had a low of 34,000 and a high of 45,000 again $11,000 difference so it would not be uncommon at all if we went to a low of around $40,000 and a high of around $51,000 $52,000 that would be an $11,000 difference again even if we went back down to like $42,000 had a low around 42 a high of 53 54 it puts us back in that same range that we've had for the past two months and that's the story of Bitcoin you have to be prepared and ready for the volatility if you're trading it you gotta know when to get in and when to get out but yes of course in order to be able to trade it and get in and out you do need to have that skill but i have set up two different workarounds for you guys one of them of course is in my discord trade group but the other one i'm giving to you guys completely for free but before i show you guys how to use that make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet if you guys are looking to make money either through trading or crypto passive income maybe a little bit of nfts or maybe you just want to stay up to date with the latest money making trends in crypto i literally upload a video every single day about these topics so please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again in addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram, and I also answer every single comment that you guys leave on my YouTube channel. So please, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. All right, so you might have seen this chart, and let me tell you exactly how this works. It's very simple. The instructions to enter a trade is after there's a buy or sell signal plus 
the price closes below or above this blue line that you see right here. So for example, on this buy entry right here, this candle closed at 46,717. So we're buying on the close of this candle, which is the opening of the very next candle. So it opened at 46,717. That's where our trade would have been opened. And it went up as high as $47,500. So that move right there from 46,717 to 47,500 would have been a win of about 1.68% profit. So you see here, we got a sell signal after this huge sell off. So again, remember, we have to get the sell signal plus it has to be below the blue line. So for a sell it has to be below the blue line for a buy it has to be above the blue line. So that's it. That's basically the idea. You use the buy and sell indicators plus the blue line on the chart open on the new candle and trail aggressively with your stop loss. You can take profits on the way at any point in time whenever you feel comfortable. These buy and sell signals are live 24 seven. You just have to go to my YouTube channel and you will see it. Make sure to smash that like button. Feel free to chat over here. I'm constantly looking at the chat. So if you have any questions, you could drop it in there. And look at these results so far since we've launched the channel last week, guys. These are all the signals that we have recorded following my rules and the accuracy has been 76.92% or 10 out of 13 for Bitcoin and the same exact for Ethereum. All right, so trade setups that I will be watching this week. There's two plays that I'm currently looking at. The first one is a breakout trade above $48,000. So 48,000 is this final resistance here that I think that we have before we jump straight into 50 to $54,000. So that's the first trade I am looking at for an entry. I want a breakout above $48,000. Now the second one is probably currently like right around where we're sitting at $45,000. If I see the price drop below $45,000 and then head back above it, I'm going to be buying once price goes right back over $45,000. You can see that if you would have done that on the last time that that happened, which was a few days ago, you would have been able to ride 45,000 all the way up to a high of $47,500. So I'm going to be using that same exact setup again. Now, with all that being said, if you guys want to know the exact trade setups that I am taking in real time every single day, where I'm taking profits, where I'm putting in my stop losses, how I'm using my trailing stops, what trades I'm taking in Ethereum and other altcoins, then you guys need to join my trading mentorship discord. In this group, I share every single trade that I take with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, trailing stop, all of it. I show you guys my exact scalping strategy that has got me these returns this week. I literally just made $1,000 just a few minutes ago while recording this video. And this was on a small move from 3,100 to 3,130. And earlier this morning, I woke up to a $2,500 profit on one of the trades that I gave in the trade group. I set bids overnight at 3,100. I got filled at literally 3 a.m. in the morning. And when I woke up, the price was at 3,182 for a $2,500 profit. Now, in addition to trading, I also post about crypto passive income opportunities, NFT projects, and much, much more. Now, there are limited spots for this because there's so many people that want to get in, but there's only so many that I can work with at once. So if you guys are interested, go to the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity. And the way that it is set up right now, the easy opportunities to make money will not last forever, I can guarantee you. So if you're interested, sign up in the link in the description below. If not, I strongly recommend that you check out the next two videos that are put up on the screen because those are the videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. As always, peace and love.